Hi, I'm Cammie Hines with Cammie's Kitchen, and today we're going to make a special drink called Holiday Horchata. I'm using Distilling Head's new Warship Rum. They have three kinds, an 80 proof, a 100 proof, and 125 proof. I got a taste test all of them at a local liquor store, and I decided the 100 proof would go best with our Holiday Horchata. Let's get started. Here are the ingredients you need to make our special holiday horchata. One cup of rice, two thirds cup sugar, three cups almond milk, two and a half cups of coconut milk, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and as many cinnamon sticks as you like. I like a lot because it's super spicy. You will also need a blender. Let's make it. Put the rice in first, then the sugar, then our cinnamon sticks, the vanilla extract, our coconut milk, our almond milk. You can use any kind of almond milk you like. I like the kind with vanilla in it to give it extra flavor. Secure your blender by locking it into place and use a towel to prevent any spills. And plug your ears. Once you've blended the horchata, let it sit for at least three hours. Sometimes even overnight if you can. After waiting an excruciating three hours for our horchata to be done, we're ready to continue. Take a bowl, a strainer, and some paper towels. If you have cheesecloth, that's even better, but I don't, so I'm going to use some paper towels. Make a little funnel and pour in your horchata. Now we're going to squeeze all of that extra juice out of here down into the bowl. Now that we've let our horchata chill for a few hours, we're ready to make holiday horchata. You need a martini shaker, two ounces of our horchata mix, one ounce of Distilling Heads Warship Vodka, 100 proof, and a chilled margarita glass for festivity sake. First the rum, then our horchata, and shake it and pour. Hmm, it needs something. I know, I think I'll garnish it with some fresh ground cinnamon. Voila, holiday horchata. Hmm, now that's a party.